I want to give you my entire kingdom. Let's go. This is me giving away my entire kingdom. Something that my enemies would never expect. And I mean, why would they? Why would anyone even decide to try this? Well, what if I told you that this event let me infiltrate my enemy's team, manipulate them, and ultimately kill them? They're all here! Oh, three! Guys! Oh my god, it worked! Thank god! Would you guys like to join my kingdom? Yeah. <laughs> my heart is pounding so much! But to understand how we got here, we need some context. I present to you Pantro, a player who on this server is known for numerous team betrayals. And this is my teammate, getting killed by him. Hey, man, ended up- Oh, uh-oh, oh, wait, wait. Oh my god. So acknowledging this, I decided to make it my goal to get revenge and kill Pantro. However, this would not be a simple task. This is because Pantro has a team with the sole purpose of killing everyone in sight. So instead of trying to beat him in a fight, I came up with a different plan. I'm going to make a kingdom just to give it to Pantro. Yes, I'm giving away the entire thing. But when I gain his trust, I'm going to secretly destroy my own kingdom and trap him when he comes to look at the remains. Although I'm fond of this plan, I'm getting way too ahead of myself because I don't even have a kingdom. Which led me to the basic question of what actually makes a kingdom. Well, my first thought was that every king needs a castle. So I gathered some cobblestone, found a mountain and decided to build a castle, declaring myself as king. But then I dug deeper into this rabbit hole, and I realized that every kingdom needs to have their civilians. But when I asked people to join me, this is what they said. Hey Rev, I've been working on this kingdom, and I was wondering if you want to join. Uh, no. No. No, I don't feel like it. Can I see, can I see what it looks like first? Here, check DMs right there. What the hell is that? <laughs> if this happened to me on any other day, I would have backed down from the situation. However, something intrigued me, and I just needed to know why they wouldn't join. So, I decided to go ahead and ask them right on the spot. Why? Because you're poor and you don't have a helmet. Like how much strength do you have? I have one. Yeah, yeah you're broke. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what is, what is... So, if I even want to start what's known as a kingdom, I need to first fulfill these requirements. And Personally, I find it easier to start with the easier jobs, and in this case, it was getting myself a new helmet. And I knew exactly where to go to get myself one. Hello. Hello. I introduced to you all Twerps, a very good friend, and I figured that if I want a helmet, I would come here to get one. I need you to help me get a diamond helmet. <laughs> Is that it? Really? Just an enchanted diamond helmet. I can't be running around without one anymore. It is time to get a diamond helmet. Four. <laughs> What'd you get? Oh my god! Well, there's you. there you go. The problem solved. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's been 20 seconds. <laughs> and although we were excited, I knew that we couldn't celebrate for too long. This is because I still have two more steps of what I need to make a kingdom. And this next task heavily involves the server's plugin. Basically, on the strength SMP, every single time you kill someone, you gain one attack damage. And currently, I'm at one strength, and the maximum is five. Meaning that I'm not the strongest nor the most powerful on the server. And fortunately for me, there's a way to fix that. However, it includes killing other players for strength, which eventually led to the question of what was a reliable way to kill server members. Now, of course we thought of regularly fighting people at spawn, but we didn't think that was efficient enough. So, my teammate and I decided to resort to some sort of trap. Now, this trap will consist of three different rooms. Firstly, there will be a puzzle room, that is then followed by a find the button room, and lastly, we have a parkour room. That we may have made a little too difficult. Yeah, what is this then. jump? No, I don't even know if it's possible. I, I put it there. But well, that's not Awesome. <laughs> However, each of these rooms will be connected with a railway, and everything will be normal until the railway from room 3 to an imaginary room 4, where the target will be dropped into an obsidian box with two of my friends ready to kill them. However, even after all of this, there was one thing that stood in our way, which is the fact that this had trap written all over it. I mean, a random railway going into the ground, incomplete rooms, nothing here was adding up. And this is when we thought of the idea of getting a texture pack. We're gonna need yeah. to retexture stone, dark oak planks, sand, kind of like a backrooms feeling. So I don't want anything like super bright. That's why it doesn't have to look exactly like backrooms because that's not really the goal. I just need it to be like eerie. But things generally started out rough. Oh, ooh, uh, it looks a little funky. We'll see. We'll see. We didn't know what textures we wanted. We had no clue the feeling we were going to, and it was just all a disaster. A little eerie. It's a little weird. Maybe I can fix the texture a little bit. I feel like it's too harsh. But fortunately, this was all until we tried something new. Try make it cart like a carpet. Color. Here. I don't know. Should we try it? Should we try it. Yeah, might as well. I like this. Like just like this. Like, this looks perfect. Oh my! We're actually taking steps in the right direction finally. Right? Looks sick. This makes it look so much scarier. Oh my god! Wait, this is way better. Satisfied with the textures, we decided to add voiceovers for each room just to make it a little more believable. This is room one. Oh, that that's good. <laughs> no, this works great. Yeah, and you fix that too. And after tweaking a few small issues, I think the trap was ready. So I messaged a couple of players and I had them come over to my location. 
situation. From here on out, I needed to make sure I made zero mistakes, ask no wrong questions because I don't want them to suspect a thing. So I'm going to send you a texture pack. I'm going to need you to put it on. Okay, that might have been the most obvious question ever for a sign of a trap, but it doesn't matter because they followed through anyways. But from this point on, I could only sit in my chair and watch them go through each of the rooms and hope that the final trap actually works. So this is room one and the room one music disc is right there if you want to take a listen. Welcome to Pentar's game thing. This is room one. So I end up on this button That's here. That's pretty si simple, yeah. Oh, oh okay. Break of a wooden axe. So, wait. so mind this now. <gasps> Another pattern! You got a bow and arrow, right? Let's go. Room one. You see, that was easy enough. Now, room one was nothing more than a warm up, but I couldn't help but notice how comfortable the contestants were starting to get. And this sign ultimately boosted my confidence whether or not this trap would actually work. But yet, I would still need to wait and see. Your job is to find the correct button. Ooh. Oh. Eerie. Have you checked all the corners? Uh, I can't find them. <laughs> oh one. my god. Okay, I feel like it has to be this one. I'm scared. Okay. You got it really fast. No oh, yeah, you got to time oh. it. Thank oh. God. Oh my God. And you have to time it, so. No. Yeah, I'll push you. There you go. At this point, my palms are sweating. The contestants went through two rooms and did not question a single thing. And as they went to the final room, the idea of them knowing something lurked my mind. However, there was nothing more I can do than to just sit back and watch. The goal is to complete the parkour and get to the other side of the room. Okay, maybe I was not going to parkour. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my god, wait, <laughs> you're about to, you're, you're gonna do this first try. Oh, no. for this one? Wait, you did it, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, you're actually, you're actually doing it so well. Okay, last one. The Neo. Oh no. Well, I'm actually impressed. Can I say you, Pentar? I'm oh, sorry. Yes. Oh, let's go. And when they flick that lever, their gateway to death opens. Mere seconds away from death, all I could do was watch. Uh, heard this side, huh? Watching them as they left into darkness, I realized that this trap working was not only for myself, but instead, it was for my kingdom. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, so sorry about that. <laughs> so look, I'll drop you straight. I'll drop you two straight. Well, you actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate your strength. And even though the trap was a success, it only left me on three strength, meaning I still need two more from the maximum amount. However, by killing these two players, the rest of the server was alerted and knew what I was doing. So this led me to find a different way to get strength. And thankfully, I had a friend on the server who was willing to give me two strength for free. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> what a weird guy. No, I'm not weird, Penta! Stop! And with this, I had two out of the three requirements completed. And the final one includes me building a much better kingdom. However, before I could even start gathering materials for my build, I was approached by a player known as Ty who was on the opposite team. Fortunately for me, it had nothing to do with an attack. However, it had something a little more interesting. I don't agree with what Pancho is doing right now. Just started going on a rampage, farming innocent people off the server. It just kind of became really bad, which is why I would like to join your team and give you all information that I get from Pancho's team and be a mole. I mean, considering Pancho's team is growing and becoming more powerful, having a double agent wouldn't be so bad. But yet, this meeting confused me. I mean, was there any reason he was doing this? Overwhelmed with this confusion, I desperately needed a way to get it off my mind. Luckily for me, I had some friends willing to help me make the castle to my kingdom. He's going main, ma maniac. I'm I am insane. <laughs> <laughs> to establish this kingdom, we quickly worked on the castle. And after only a short amount of time, we actually finished it and here's the last block let's go okay, okay and after this we decided to incorporate some houses it's just somewhere over in the distance over there and it just looks like that some farmlands so far it looks so nice and even a cute little pond do you like the little pond so far oh this oh, this is cool but as we kept building i began to realize that this was not any regular project in fact building this kingdom revealed a much deeper connection one that represented unity so i stand here to ask you guys one more time would you guys like to join my kingdom Yes, cool. yeah. <laughs> this once building project transformed into an area where we could all have fun. I suck at making a kingdom. What happened to the well? However, there was one thing this kingdom still lacked, which was a name. It deserved a title, one that led everyone to believe that this was my kingdom. So once I was asked about the name, well, what should be called? Penta, give, give this place a name. I knew exactly what I wanted to answer. Hmm. I want this place to be called Pentarville. Yeah. 
Y you know what? I like that name. Thus, Pentarville was born. And with all of the requirements meant, I finally had my own kingdom. However, even though this place meant so much to me, I still have to follow through with my original plan. Which means I can finally move on and figure out a way I can give this entire thing to my enemy, Pantro. But this thought raised the question of how would we actually do that? I mean, we thought of scheduling a big fight for my kingdom, but that didn't seem natural enough. We needed a believable plan that would trick Pantro into trusting us. <laughs> because if Pantra suspected a single thing, this entire idea of killing him would be ruined. And not hitting the subscribe button would also ruin it, but that's besides the point. And eventually my teammate and I figured out a plan that might work. Basically, the plan involves two scheduled chases, where whoever kills me gets Pentarville. However, I'm going to survive the first chase and intentionally die to Pantra during the second one, which should result in me giving him my kingdom. But for this plan to seem believable, I must survive the first chase. And to guarantee my survival, we took the opportunity to set up things beforehand. So, about 30 minutes before the chase begun, we had started working. And this led to the idea of making a drop on the starting point that led to a secret tunnel. What tunnel, you may ask? Well, a tunnel full of ice, which made us travel a lot faster. However, once we finished and thought we were ready for the chase, my teammates realized something. That one Pantro point. is at the- he's looking at the thingy, bruh. Why is Pantro always there? How does he know? Supposedly, Pantro had found our escape tunnel. And, well, if this was true, it would ruin the entire plan, especially considering this was the only method of escape we had. However, just to be sure, I had to go check. Pan Pantro broke the entire thing with the ice, by the way. Oh, what? The entire ice thing is broken. Oh, he's oh like you over. broke everything? Yeah, all the ice is gone. He blocked up the entire staircase too. I mean, at this point, we had no escape plan, basically guaranteeing my death. And if I die within the first few minutes of the chase, well, Pantro will know I'm up to something. Basically, there was nothing much we could do. These last few minutes felt like hours because we were all waiting for what practically was a death sentence. And at least for me, it was time to accept that some stories don't go the way as planned and that I had to simply accept this death, which was what I thought until I came up with an idea. Rev, can we do your version of a stasis chamber. Sure. Regular stasis chambers are banned on the server. However, I have a friend that had created one that does not classify as a regular stasis. Did Ty take that off yet or no? They didn't say nothing about it. They said nothing about Rev's version and Rev Year's version technically counts still, right? Mm -hmm. And when we realized this, you could literally hear the hope rising in my voice. Immediately off the start, we have to buy like an incredible amount of time. At this point, I was determined to win this first chase. Not only for the sake of surviving, but for the sake of convincing Pancho that I'm actually giving him my kingdom. Alright, no, we have to instantly stasis. That's what we have to do. Instantly stasis like a thousand, two thousand blocks away. We're gonna have to do that instead of trying to fall and take a 2v7. There's no other way we're going to be able to like do this. However, we have a little amount of time before the chase begins. So I traveled through the nether and met my friend at the world border which was thousands of blocks away from spawn the only problem with this type of stasis is that it's really inconsistent but eventually after multiple tries we figured it out yes oh my god Oh, oh my god. god, thank god, I'm turning my GOI down. Don't hit my pearl, do not hit my pearl. Swear to god, if I TP right onto the honey block, I'm, I'm I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, oh my god. Okay. And with my life in a singular pearl, we were ready and decided to head to spawn for the chase. However, throughout the journey back to spawn, I feared the possibility of this contraption not working. Please, please, please. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I absolutely hate doing events. I hate doing events. I mean, it's possible for a pearl to simply glitch and not work. This was a risk I was not prepared to take, but with the enemies surrounding us and ready for the chase to begin, I had no choice but to take it. All of you here have one hour to kill me and twerps, I guess, too, but killing me most importantly, because if one of you kill me, I will give you Pentarville, my kingdom. You get the entire kingdom and everything that comes with it. You get our entire trust, just everything. But that's only if you kill me. In the back of my mind, I was telling myself this won't work. This can't work. However, there was no backing out of this now. And I knew that I had to begin the chase. So if I'm so confident that I'm going to die, I'm going to die knowing that I tried. If there's no other comments, I think we can start this chase in three, two, one, go. What? Nice! Oh my god, it worked! Thank god! Oh my god, thank god it worked! Wait, I was so nervous! Oh my god! Let's get, let's get out of this real nether. Okay, follow me, follow me. Let's go this way, let's go this way. Now that we figured out the stasis worked, I can finally relax. You don't understand how happy I am that worked. <laughs> They're not near us, we're fine, we're fine, we're absolutely fine. This is so much more peaceful when nobody is around me. Oh my god. By being thousands of blocks away from anybody, I was able to be way more calm. 
but maybe I was too calm. Like, they have a sense of where we are because of the border. All right. Don't open your F3. Do not open your F3. Do not, not open. Not, okay. Not, I was so tight. Wait, I'll, I'll check it for us. Somehow people knew roughly where we were, which made me wonder, were we being watched? To not cause additional stress, I decided to ignore it and to keep running. For this first chase, I knew that I had to do anything I could to survive, because dying now would basically ruin everything. So for about the next 40 minutes, my teammate and I just kept running without stopping. But that was until we stopped to make a sky base, in hopes of comfortably getting through the last 20 minutes. However, this could have been our worst decision. Oh my god, they're here! He's here. How are you guys here? Wait, who is that? Can you zoom in? Pantro, that's Pantro. How's Pantro here? Boom, 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 boom. I put him off, put him off, Pantro. Where are your friends? <laughs> I feel so bad. This sucks for him. Well, I felt bad until we realized. They're, they're all here. They're all here. They're all oh here. Oh my they're god, all they're, all they're all here. Okay. All right, lock in, lock in. <laughs> Focus on the ones who are closer up. I'm just lighting someone up. Someone is getting absolutely destroyed down there. <laughs> Oh my god. I feel horrible for them. This is a horrible- How much time? How much time? What's time? 45 minutes. 45 minutes. 15 minutes of this? And with 15 minutes left, we thought nothing could go wrong. Until... Oh my god. <gasps> oh, dwarves! Dwarves! No! I'll lead them away. I'll lead them away. I'll lead them away. No, dwarves! They're chasing you! <laughs> no! My teammate falling distracted all of the enemies to chase him instead of focusing on me. Now, either I could attempt to help twerps, or I can run away and save myself. I got it. No worries. You can portal. You can portal. They're all going for you. It's fine. That gets that gives you more time. Okay, okay, okay. You're the main guy. You're the main guy. If they kill you, realistically, they have no way of getting to me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. We both agreed that I would do my best to fight for myself in these last remaining minutes. So I decided to make a nether portal and run all the way back to spawn. However, my entire journey back to spawn, I could not help but notice my teammates' calls for help. Pantro and Pig are both on me. No, but let's go! No, no, I'm not dead. I'm dead. I'm not dead. I'm, but I'm going to die, pretty much. If you die, I, I thank you for protecting me. <laughs> At this point, I managed to make it back to spawn with only five minutes remaining. But this was also the time my teammate would fall. No! All right. GG's. My teammate just died for me. And at this point, I didn't know how to feel. However, if he went this length for me, I knew there was one thing he'd want me to do. And with only a few minutes left, I set my mind on one thing. Survival. Uh oh, wait. Okay, there's a lot more. It's fun. Now I'm scared. I have five minutes. You have five minutes. I hate this. This is so nervous going on top of towers. I hate it. I hate it up here. Oh my god. Okay, who am I hitting? I'm hitting someone. Go away! Pentar! What? Stop shooting me! No! Pentar, three minutes, Pentar. I wish I had punch, I really do. We're, we're getting close now, Pentar. Pentar. Okay, wait. You are getting close. You're getting a little too close. I have two and a half minutes. However, for some reason, a player named Elijah, who I have killed earlier, decided to turn around and help me. Come on, come on, you got this, you got this. And out of pure confusion, I decided to go with it. Yeah, chill down there, just don't let them come up. Honestly, you could, you could just go fight them up here. Yeah. Come on, come oh on. my god! Thank you! <laughs> no way! Oh, I actually shot you. Shoot, they might kill me. Okay, hold on. I got it. Oh, they're down, they're down. Lachi, stop coming up! <laughs> stop coming up! How much time do you have left? I have one and a half minutes. You just have to go down there and knock them off. And they no, Lachi! <laughs> Oh my god. With the Lightu falling, I was left to defend myself on this tower. And with less than a minute of this chase left, the only thing I could do is fight. Up oh my god! Okay, Boom. That was powdered snow! Oh my god, that was powdered snow! Pancho's here! 20 oh seconds, 20 seconds. <laughs> Get away! Get away! Oh my god, that was my last pro. Last pro. That's an hour, an hour, an hour. Hour done, hour done, hour done, hour done. Oh my god. Fortunately, just moments away from death, the clock had run out for the first chase. And although I survived, I couldn't stop thinking about one thing. Why did a player on the other team decide to switch sides and help me? I mean, I'm starting to see a pattern for people having a hatred for Pantro just like me. But I'm probably overthinking it, because now I have to prepare for the second chase. And it's in this chase that I'll intentionally die to Pantro. However, I still need to make this second chase as believable as possible. So we decided to set up a few things such as ice tunnels, secret drops, and fall traps. So these few things should not last us the entire chase, but it should be enough to fully convince Pantro that when he kills me, he gets my kingdom. And this regards the issue of how are we going to get Pantro in specific to kill me? And the way we were going going to do this is by taking information from the first chase. People recognize Pantro as a smart player, and it's proven multiple times. More specifically, during the last chase, he was able to find us on his own. Pantro, Pantro. So we're planning on using that to our advantage and hope that he finds us first out of anyone in this chase. And when he eventually finds me, I'll take a fight with him and intentionally lose it, which will hopefully trick the whole server into thinking Pantro is the new owner of Pentarville. However, these were simply the goals, and they truly didn't mean anything unless they 
were done in the actual chase. Well, luckily for me, our enemies were furious that they lost the first chase, but they were prepared and ready for round two. You ready? Uh, Torps, you ready? Yeah. You know what we're doing? Yep, I'm ready, bro. Three, two, one go we instantly dropped down the secret hole we had behind the tree which brought us to the ice tunnel by obliterating our space bars we were instantly able to get good distance all right go 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 as soon as we left the ice tunnel we ran across a bridge and destroyed it behind us burn down the bridge burn down the bridge <laughs> set it on fire we eventually used a boat and went down the river towards the cave and little do the enemies know i already have something set up in the cave go go go, 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 go jump go it's fun go 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 go, 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 go. uh i'm a i'm a I'll be Travis Portal, get out. And in the safety of the nether, we had escaped our enemies. I mean, that plan went so well, I don't even think they know where we are. Knowing all of this, we could freely and safely run through the nether without any worries. Well, that's what we thought. To the portal. Oh, they, just, they, cut off, they cut us off! They cut us off! They cut us off! They cut us off! They did? What? Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Panicking, we had no other choice than to turn around and run back through the portal. Go, 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 go. Oh, they're coming. They're right here. They're right here. I see their name tags. Run. Pantro's right behind us. Go! Oh my god. We ended up finding a point where it was only Pantro chasing us too so we knew that we could easily take the chance and fight him it's only him right now no one else is near him he's typing chords he took a second to type chords however we knew that the problem wouldn't be killing him it would be his teammates being ready to back him up ready 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 get in get in get in get in go, go, go. He's gonna bow. Oh, no! get your bow out i'm gonna turn around get your bow out boom 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 so i don't have boat i don't have boat get away mancho get away <laughs> you hit him off Yep, wait, wait, come out, come out, come out, come out. He's, oh, low, he's low, he's low, he's low, he's low, he's low. Okay, he's on top of the trees. Wait, I knocked him off, knocked him off. He's just giving cords. He's just, he's just gonna survive and give cords. Yeah, they're gonna start being here soon. I vote, I vote, I vote. Ready? Get in. Yep, yep. Go, 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 go. But after a while of fighting Pantro, the undeniable happened. Although we knew it would happen, we just never knew when. Rat? Is that? Oh my God, Ty's here. Ty's they're all here. All three. <laughs> oh my God! Get the vote! Get the vote! Run, Torps! You have to run, Torps! Torps! They're on you! They're all three on you! Go, Torps! You should get on the land! Go, 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 go! Now this situation wasn't bad. It was horrible. And it's not because we had a lot of people on us. It's because Torps and I ended up splitting apart. And Pancho, the person who I need to kill me, is focusing on Torps. Meaning that if I die right here, most likely Pancho is not getting my kingdom. So, like any other chase, I had to keep oh, running. Wait, come to me! Come to me! Come to me! Come to me! Yeah. Break it. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, I got the boat still. Pentel, you're on your, on your own, man. Twerps! <laughs> and now I was alone. With my teammate dead, it was me against the server. And I desperately needed to survive and find a way to die to specifically Pantra. However, I still have to keep in mind that I have to make it as believable as possible. Oh my god. Yes! Oh my god! Thank god! Thank god! Thank god I got the dolphin! Oh my god! No way you have it too! <laughs> Oh my gosh. No yeah, way, you skeleton. stupid skeleton! Yeah, skeleton. <laughs> oh, Pink Tar, it looks like you're just running aimlessly. Stop, uh, F3. I'm not, I'm, like, I, I'm not confident yet, but I may have gone away a little. I luckily managed to escape, and I found my way to a mine shaft. Here, I just started going deeper and deeper into a cave until I built myself a nether portal. By building a nether portal, I was hoping I can travel enough distance away to have some breathing room. They, they know. <gasps> oh my god, there's a lava pit. Oh my god, that was too close. That got so close too many times. But although I thought I was alone, it turned out Pantro was following me. Shoot. This was my chance. I can turn around and die to Pantro and have this thing over with. However, I didn't see it that way. I want to make this more believable. I want to push the limits of emotion. So I decided to keep running, but that was a mistake. Oh my god, he hears you, dude. Fine, I can go. Oh my- Eventually, the rest of the enemy team caught up to us. And this was when I realized that I was watching Pantro's chances of killing me wither away. With many people trying to kill me, the chances of Pancho getting my kingdom were slowly getting smaller. And this situation had me losing hope for everything this was going towards. It was now I realized that if I died to anyone but Pancho, I would lose my team, my kingdom, and any sort of purpose I have here. Oh, my boots are gone. I'm dead. I'm on my way into another Guys, I'm dead. I'm dead. This might be it. This might be it. Oh. No! No! <laughs> Fortunately, Pantro ended up being the one to kill me. But you might be wondering why was I sad when Pantro got the kill credit? I mean, the plan worked, didn't it? Well, not exactly. I still have to offer Pantro my kingdom, and if he trusts me, he'll hopefully accept it. However, whilst we were running to Pentarville, I could not stop thinking about the possibility of him declining my offer. This is because Pantro is an intelligent player, and there is a good chance that he can see right through my lies. But at this point, the situation was out of my hands, and all I could do is hope that Pantro 
Sancho believe me enough so I can give him my kingdom? All right, you guys died. So, I mean, you lost the bet. So from this day forward, you guys permanently have to wear blue armor. Oh my for, for god. Ever. By wearing this blue armor, we accepted his side of the deal, which means that we've just been formally accepted into his team. But finally, it was time to see if all of this planning was worth it. It's finally time to see if Pancho trusts me. It's finally time to give him my kingdom. Well, Pancho, I want to give you my entire kingdom. Let's go. You get everything here. You now have me on your team, and also my teammates too. Oh, you also get this castle and this entire village. I am giving you basically everything. Thank you for the kingdom, Pentar. We were officially in. I had successfully given my kingdom to Pancho, and he did not seem to question it at all. And I mean, personally, I had no idea how any of it worked. All of the planning and stress was worth it, and out of pure excitement, my teammate and I decided to reconvene right after this. I'm far enough from everyone so they can't hear me. That worked perfectly. Oh my god. Thank god it worked. And Pancho got kill credits. That's so good. Hopefully they believe that I fully died and like am fully on their team, I guess. And at this current moment, the main concern was does Pancho actually trust me? Because even though I'm technically on his team, there's some more things I can do that would solidify this partnership. So that's exactly what I set out to do. And the way I'm going to approach this is by asking Pancho if there's anything he needs me to do. And when I asked him, he said he needs a, a knockback two sword. Yeah, at least iron with unbreaking three. Why he exactly wanted the sword, I'm not quite sure. However, I decided not to question it and I began gathering materials to make this sword. But something came across my mind whilst I was doing this. And it regards some of the characters who were presented earlier in this story. Specifically, I'm thinking about people such as Tai and Elaichu. People like these two share a similarity about hating Pantro. I mean, they're both on his team, except are choosing to betray for me. And thinking about it just a little more, I came to discover that there's an entire team conspiring against Pantro. And every single member on this team used to be on Pantro's side. And it's all because they don't agree with most of his actions, much like myself. This made me more curious. Are they on the same page as me and are desiring to kill Pantro? I mean, it's entirely entirely possible I can get them to help me. However, that's not where my mind was right now. Instead, it was focused on gaining more of Pantro's trust. And with me obtaining the sword that he wanted, I got the sword. I have the sword Pancho desires. I became one step closer to gaining that trust. However, there was still one more thing I could do that would fully convince him that I'm on his team. And that one thing was to convert my teammates to his blue armor. And with all of this in mind, my teammate and I ran to spawn to meet Pantro, hoping that he thinks we're on his side. So, as promised, an iron sword, knockback two, and breaking three and mending. Look at this little fella. I'm sneaky. Here you go, young Will. You you now have to permanently wear the blue armor. As per the uh, the agreement you guys had, yep. and twerps yep. and pens are dying, I think it's only fair. Dude. I feel sh I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed. <laughs> His mic just started breaking. And after the conversation concluded, I knew that I did my job successfully. By this point, it looked like I was completely out of the picture. Pancho thought that Pentarville and I were completely done. However, it was now that I would think about striking back and how I would ultimately trap and kill Pancho. So I decided to come up. Up with a plan to do this. I'm going to blow up Pentarville myself and have Pancho come look at the remains. And once he's there, I'm going to hopefully have the opportunity to trap him. But I still need to come up with a reason for Pancho to feel the need to go look at the ruins. So to combat this problem, I'm deciding to frame people. And who am I exactly framing? The people who used to be on his team. Let me open the conversation with this. Do you guys hate Pancho? Yes, definitely. I would say so, yeah. Let's just say we're, we're on the same page already. Okay. Oh, we are, yeah. I've not actually been on his side. It's all been an entire scheme. Pentarville and everything. My plan was to blow up Pentarville. It's going to be me who blows it up. So what's going to happen? When I blow it up, I'm going to put down signs at the site that make it seem like you guys blew it. I'm going to frame you guys to act like you guys took this move. That like, sounds like a good plan. Like, I, I think that's going to work. And with everything in place, we were ready to move on with this trap. Well, we were almost ready. Following through with this trap does mean I have to blow up Pentarville, a place that I used to call home, a place that I used to rule. I mean, this was my kingdom and it represents everything I worked for. Contemplating if I should actually blow up this sacred place, I began to recall certain memories from when this project started. It's going main, 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 yeah, I'm <laughs> Would you guys like to join my kingdom? Yes. <laughs> I want this place to be called Pentarville. Yeah. 
Y you know what? I like that. And whilst I was placing TNT, I acknowledged that I had a plan and that I had to stick to it. However, it is now that I realize that sometimes to get what you want, you must sacrifice what you love. But every now and then, some sacrifices are greater than others. I'm, I'm gonna cry. Good goodbye, Pentarville. Goodbye, <laughs> Pentarville. No. Uh, I spent so much time. Oh my god. Wow, there's a lot of water. There it goes. <laughs> this is so unfortunate. Oh my god. It was, it was great while it lasted. Rest in yeah. peace. It's our film. There it goes. <laughs> no. Goodbye, Pentarville. Forever. And after accepting this loss, I instantly began placing a trail of signs up to the castle. My plan is to have the last sign at the castle because this is where I hope to trap him. However, whilst I was thinking about this, a new problem arose. And it regards the idea of how would Pantro actually find these ruins and properly follow the signs to the trap. I mean, until he's notified about Pentarville being destroyed, he doesn't have a real reason to go check it out. So this got me thinking, and eventually I decided that I needed a guide to help lure Pantro to the trap. But I knew that this couldn't be just any person on the server because Pantro would suspect something. So I would need to find the person that Pantro trusts, but someone who is willing to help me. And just bringing up those words, my mind instantly recalled someone we met earlier. And the person I'm talking about is Ty. Now since the beginning, Ty has been on Pantro's team, but he's been willing to mole for us. However, we never found the opportunity to play into this, so we just ignored it. But that was until now. So Ty, do you remember a while ago how you said you would help our team even though you're with Pantro? I do remember that. Uh, yeah. Now, I'm wondering if you're still up for that. Hmm. I mean, sure, but it depends what it is, really. So, I had to explain the plan to Ty, where he would alert Pantro about Pentarville and lead him through the course of signs. And once both of them reach the castle and read the very last sign, I would be ready to place and explode TNT minecarts right under them. Okay. I'll do all of this, but what will you do if this doesn't really work your way? Uh, if it doesn't work, well... At, l at least I'm going down with Pentarville. I mean, if this trap fails, everything I've done up to this point would mean nothing. Personally, I think that I've gone through too much for this not to work. So, both of us got into our positions, and now all we could do was wait. However, sitting here buried under my kingdom, it made me realize everything that I've done. I started my own kingdom from the ground up. At one point, I had the entire server chase and kill me just to give my kingdom to Pantro. I had made my own teammates side with our enemy only to get his trust, and now I'm stuck here wondering if this would all be worth it. Well, unfortunately, I don't have time to think about it because now I need to watch the trap unfold. He's here. Okay, they're reading through it. They're reading through it right now. And Stuck with that. The owner of Pentarville. Oh my god, my, my heart is pounding right now. It's just pounding. And then the other one's right here. Consider this a warning. Oh. The armor was meant to protect us, but instead it created the tyrant we see today. There he is. There's his name tag. There's his name tag. But there's more. Yeah, yeah, I, I see one over there. You may think our red armor is wrong, but we're looking oh! deeper. It is you who is at fault. There's another one right there. And as he approached the castle, I realized now is the time that all of this work is proven to be worth it, or if nothing mattered since the beginning. Ty's right there. Where's Pantry? Where in the world is Pantry? He's right here. He's right in front of me. You did not only fail to protect us, but you failed to unite us as a community. My heart is pounding so much! And when he walked up to read the final sign... For this, this is war. Blame yourself for these actions. I knew that now was my chance. Either everything that's been done would lead to me going down with Pentarville, or I would be able to bring Pantro down with me. And now, it was time to put this event into history. Did it not work? It didn't work! No way! How'd that not work? He was right there! Way. This entire journey of emotion just for this result. The result of me dying alongside the kingdom I once ruled. And for what? Well, 
I'm not sure anymore. But now that this chapter was closing to an end, a feeling hit me. I wasn't sure what it was, but something told me that it just wasn't over. At this moment, I began to recall the people earlier who have set out to work against Pantro. But where were they now? I mean, they couldn't just disappear. They had to be somewhere on the server. It couldn't just be me alone. And this made me realize that from the very beginning, I haven't been the only person against Pantro. We first discovered that Ty was willing to give us information about Pantro's team despite being on that team. Then we found out that Elijah was willing to put his life on the line just so that I could survive a chase. And recently we learned that there was an entire team that's purpose was to conspire against Pantro. This entire time, I thought that I had my own ideology, but it turns out that others followed the same path. Maybe I wasn't alone. Maybe I'm not going down with my kingdom by myself. And maybe, just maybe, there are people on my side. It didn't did work! Get on, get on, get on, get on! Get them! Get them! I want this place to be called Pentarville. Yeah. You, you know what? I like that name.